Hey loves, I hope everybody is doing good. Surprise, surprise for y'all today. So it's been a year that y'all been riding with me and I always talk about my magician does this and I ask my sister this. <laughs> Look who's here today. Hey, <laughs> this is Norsha, you guys. Hello. Zola, Unveil Goddess Tribe is her brand. Yes. She also has sister locks. Yes. That's the one that made me jump in, y'all. was red tag. <laughs> Can't wait for me to drop like that. Yes, honey. So I told y'all that I was dyeing my hair. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. So this is what it came like. No, she's going to do some spins. I was going for burgundy. I told y'all I was winging it with that 30 value stuff. I was winging it. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Okay. So Miss Zola is gonna jump on and redo us, right, Norsh? Yes. Now, <laughs> disclaimer: <laughs> I am a sister lock um, trainee, not yet a full consultant, um, but I am not a cosmetologist. So I dye my own hair. I experiment with myself. So that's a disclaimer. What you see in this video, <laughs> listen, you don't have to try it at home. <laughs> that's on you. Okay. But first, so do you want, are we doing tips or are we, which, what's your idea? I'm thinking tips. I think I want to keep the roots black. Okay. But since I fucked up this side and dyed my edges red, <laughs> I don't know. We can do some blend. I don't know. Blend or like the gradual fade, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to come midway. Up. Okay. And then your tips start maybe about an inch or two okay. of your tips. That's what we're going to do. Like okay. Okay. Um, Jackie Coke, Jackie Coke, y'all. Y'all know me. Now, <laughs> normally I'm professional. <laughs> but this is my sister. So we go cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers. We're having a little kiki. We're going to get her hair dyed. So I'm gonna uh, give you guys a close up of what we're using. So we're going to mix it because you don't want it. She don't want it like bright red. So we're gonna mix, uh, we're using L'Oreal High Color, um, and it's for dark hair only. We're going to be mixing red with magenta, and I'll give you like a closer look at that. Ooh, there we go. Don't worry, we, we getting it worked out. <laughs> All I right. told you upgrade, slowly, yes. slowly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if you can, there we go. Oh, anyway, it's red and magenta. This is what we're using. You can find this at Sally's. How much was this at Sally's? I paid them the $20 for two boxes. <laughs> it was like $17, $18. So it's <laughs> in the twos. But now, I swear by this blend, Brand. I've done red plenty of time and with my hair being dark, and it really do take you from dark hair to red without having to use, you know, like bleach. All you need is your, um, Developer, uh, yeah. And I told y'all I was not trying to use no bleach because uh, she already ain't got no sides. <laughs> that bleach is not for the snatch when I got left. Shit. <laughs> y'all already know this. So I got a little mixing bowl here, so I'm just gonna spread this color in there. This one is red. This is my favorite, so I'm gonna sit this down and get all that out. Yes, yeah, so but it is. It's, so how long have you been into your journey? Uh. A little over a year. Okay. I dropped, dropped. <laughs> I jumped in a little over a year ago. I'm feeling good. Okay. I was sharing with all of you two how I got to a point where I was tired of hiding. Mm. I was tired of hiding, scared of getting in the swimming pool because my track's gonna fall out. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then the days where she ain't got no money to really go and buy tracks and wigs and stuff. <laughs> There's not so many styles we can do, you guys, when we don't have edges because we can't just pull up and go. It, it don't work that way. Right. And at once upon a time, when you don't even got enough to actually slick, what are you doing? So you're in that cycle. Yeah, you're in that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So that one really made me kind of, like, it made me jump in. Yeah. And then also, I had my little phase where I miss my wigs. And that's what I was going to tell you earlier. I do be missing my wig sometimes. <laughs> And it's okay to be on your journey, within your journey, yeah. and still go get you a wig. Yeah. 
I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. Because I see it. You know there's people who get like full laces. Full laces. They go to the shop. They get it braided down. And they get their wigs on. Even braids. I've been seeing like, like um, what do you call it? Singles? Uh -huh. I haven't seen that. Now, that's something I want to do. I want some long girl. I want to be the ass long way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Next birthday. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's I okay. Think about that. It's also the freedom. The whole yes. point of it is the freedom. So you don't want to get in this click. Because you can be, such a lot can be a click sometimes. Yes. You know. Yeah. And you don't want to be in a click. The whole point is freedom. Having the freedom where if I'm going to wear my wig, I am. And if I'm going to be natural, I'm going to be natural. It's a journey. I didn't allow myself that. Okay. I was finding myself being guilty for wearing my wigs at times because mm -hmm. I jumped on here like, hey, y'all, I'm finna go natural. I'm finna do my micro sister locks. Mm -hmm. We finna take this ride and see what we can do with these edges. Okay. Then it got to the point when I did my tracks and then it was like, fuck, mm -hmm. I ain't supposed to be wearing no wig right now. Okay. I'm on a whole other journey. Right. Not realizing that that journey means it's okay to go put my wig on. Yes. You know what I mean? Because it's catered to everybody. Yeah. It is. It's catered to everybody. Something to think it's about. It's about your comfort zone. And it's about what you want to do. It's, it, at the end of the day, it's, really, it's supposed to be freedom. That's, That's I always true. go back to that. You're free. Now, that played a part, right? What so I'm mean? getting on here, and I come to you, and I talk about, like, okay. how free I am with, 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 in this journey. I go to work with my, my, my uh -huh. sister locks out, my locks out. It was a time that I would never wear my hair, right? Okay. But then it comes to the comfort zone of being in the single world and dating and meeting people. Okay. It was kind of, uh, I didn't, for some reason, I felt bald headed. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I felt bald headed. Okay. I didn't feel <laughs> the, the confidence me because I'm on this new journey. And when I jumped right. on this journey, I was single, single. I'm still single, but I wasn't dating. Wasn't dating. And is this technically the shortest you've worn your hair, too? Yes. Because, you know, sometimes women, I feel like we attach beauty to length. Yeah, that was my problem right there then. It was. So I went and got me a damn wig, and okay. I went on my date, and I felt good on my date. I felt confident on my date. So you got to use a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now it's like, okay, now when you see this, what are you going to say? Oh. If you so never you met me like this. So do you think, mm -hmm. now, no, pause. Are you at a comfortable length yet? I'm, yes. Okay. Yes and no. Okay. Yes, Elaborate. as far as getting up, going to the store, mm -hmm. doing the stab that I had showed you guys when I had the clips and going to work. Okay. Yes. Okay. Going out on a date and meeting new people that's like, you know, I don't know how to really word it, but you know, my peekaboo still show. That's what I call them. I have my little, you know, sometimes when I wear my size. So the stab. You still you see had, my ball spot still. When was that? Friday? Did you still see the ball spots? It had all the clips. You didn't see my ball spots? <laughs> you didn't see my ball spots? <laughs> so I know. So, as y'all already know, she got babies. I got babies. We got kids. So, we're going to have interruptions. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but that's before you go there, let me show y'all what this is looking. Now, I am using a plastic fork <laughs> to mix this up <laughs> because we're going to make it do what it do. Yes. It's looking like this, but I promise you, I've done this cover combination before. It's not gonna be bright red like that. It's gonna give it like a soft, like a wine color. Okay. So, <laughs> do you think, going back to topic, uh -huh. do you think you would prefer, or, or would you at least try to dress up, go out and mingle? Yes now. Without the wig. Yes now, so it's fucked up, so. One person I met that only seen the wig, right? Uh -huh. Now, when I'm, I'm out with my little wig face to an extent, like, I've been dodging him. So, I was like, bye. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just because, like, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I just, like, I don't got no edges. And some men, I don't know. But, it is another person that I, I, I was talking to. But he crazy as fuck. We're going to get on that later. I seen him one day in the store, and I actually had my sister locks in. So, now, it's like, hey, you already seen this. Oh, you seen it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then it's like a comfortable zone because you can see my hair, but I don't really care for the person that you see my hair. But when I meet people now, uh -huh. if I send a picture of myself, I, if it was even one with the wig, I'm also sending you one with my sister locks. Oh, so I like now that I idea. say underneath I got locks or like micro that. locks. Don't y'all try to fool me. I like that. I sister locks, micro locks, same shit. Cynthia Bo, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Cynthia Bo. Uh, side note. So, yes. Sue you for what? You know what I'm trying to say? You <laughs> 
clicks and like the basis as long as you got micro locks. Well, they deserve what they want to say. Now, <laughs> disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer, I did before what I had my class in August. So when I was going to, uh, I was interested. I mm -hmm. loved social lots. I was like a year into my journey and I wanted to go ahead and become a consultant. Um, Miss Misha here, this, first of all, you was impatient. Let's tell the truth, true. Miss Misha here, I was like, girl, I got my class in August, and she's like, no, I want them now. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, I think I know how to do it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can do it. I'm like, you know, I've been looking at the grid and stuff like that, but homegirl wanted it now. So she decided to get her lost before I went to my class, but I feel like, you know, we did that. We did. We did that. It worked. We did that. Y'all been right. So y'all ain't no suit, ain't no nothing because <laughs> I am a sister lot training. I can get, y'all want my shirt? Y'all want my shirt? <laughs> But I kept feeling like, but on me, on yeah, my yeah. head, on with my face, is it gonna look like? 
Right. That was number one. And then also, like, did I want to let go of my loose natural hair? I was finally getting to the point where I was successfully doing the loose style. Okay. Like, it, was, it was a journey. You know, I okay. big chop started from a TWS. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. I came a long way. And I'm like, hey, it took a long time. But I finally felt like, okay, I know how to style my hair. That was what was keeping me back as well. But every time I would fall in love with it, I knew, like, oh, I want this so bad. So. And it's crazy because you actually went from the big chop, like, chop, chop, y'all, like, for real. Like, it, 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 it was cute, but I'm like, girl, girl. what you doing? <laughs> girl, what why you doing? You got me like, oh, that's what you doing? <laughs> big chop, y'all. Big chop. Like, she go ahead and come back. We got some other stuff oh brewing God. where we got to share some pictures. Like, big chop, big chop. Chop, chop. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I, mm, that was the time of my life. Do you, in the midst of the big chop, did it get to, like, big fro before you start locking? Was it short? How long after the big chop did you chop? The big chop before you jumped in with your, was that before them for you? I guess that's actually my question. Wait, well, the wait. four years of searching your sister lives. I was decided. natural during that time. Okay. So my hair was growing. Back uh, from your big chop. It was, yeah, it, okay. was, it had grown out from the big shop, okay. chop. But then I also found myself, too, it kind of goes into what you're saying. I found myself also, even though I was natural, I started wearing a lot of natural wigs. Okay. Or more so than wigs, I would make crochet wigs, okay. uh, like that type of braiding. Hair. I do remember. That was pretty, oh, too. I, I do remember it. that. I actually missed it. I might have to bring it back. Yeah. But if I want to switch it up. But I would make, you know, I would do stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you all a quick turn of what we're I'm at right now. You can, you can see the red. Very good. And then you also see that I am making sure that I leave her dark roots because she don't want to have like a halo of red, red around, around her face. Which I agree. Because when I dyed blonde, I kept the roots so I don't have a halo of blonde on She did. She white chicks, honey. Honey. <laughs> white chicks, honey. This is as blonde as you're going to get. moments where you ever have moments of regret do you ever think about like damn i missed my eye Ooh, my hair not. in that other form mm -mm. because even though i was natural and this mm -hmm. was going kind of in the end i found myself towards the end i started wearing natural wigs or okay natural this natural ponytail so i will say in the past two years this is probably the most that I have ever worn my hair out consistently. That's deep. Without weave. That's deep. So, no. <laughs> Told y'all we got kids. <laughs> Let's see. Ain't no go again to he. Oh, he ducked that time though. You were talking to shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lord. We're all one uncut, y'all. We taking this ride. <laughs> In another one. <laughs> hey. Can y'all go? This area is closed, y'all. Go ahead and lock the door. Y'all gotta come through the garage or something. Thanks for riding with us, y'all. <laughs> y'all already know. Genuine. Authentic. Yes. Vibes. Oh, Just in my mouth. Just yes. talking. Just talking. Just talking. Comment. And like. And sipping. Describe. Subscribe. Yes. Describe. Well, you can describe, too. You can describe what you think is going on. <laughs> y'all know all about to talk sometimes. So yes. this is unscripted. <laughs> Real, live, yeah. and raw. raw. Entertainment. Uncut. Yeah. Me and Norsha got some things brewing though, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is only a, a true introduction of. Now, pause. Because <laughs> I know the Jack kicking in because she gave y'all my government. <laughs> she showed us that. So I guess, yes. I Hello, did. my name is Norsha. <laughs> so we're not cutting this out. Okay. Sometimes, yes, I go by Zola because I'm all ego when I want people to know my room. Now, you know, I'm a professional woman out here. Okay? <laughs> in these streets. In these streets. Not these streets. In these streets. Street, street. Okay? Yes. The jack kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take a sip. Take a sip. Oh, uh, cheers. Well, cheers. Cheers. But yeah, real raw. Uncut. Mm -hmm. Live. Mm -hmm. We ain't live because y'all ain't subscribed enough so we can go live and just do this. There's five of us. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But we got stuff brewing because this is relaxing just to sit and have natural flowing conversation. Mm. Just turn the camera around and enjoying whoever wanna enjoy these conversations with us. Talk to us. 
Y'all know my talking ass. I always get back in the comments and I do my best to reply to every single one of you guys that actually say something to me. Mm. You know what I mean? I do try that. You know, we, we passed 400 subscribers at least. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey. Yeah. Fun it's coming. I didn't think. Now, let's talk about how when I first was saying that I was going to get it. I would have never thought that she was going to get cyst locks. I would have never thought. So let's talk about what made you get cyst locks. What happened? I was tired. Okay. I, I don't think I can say I was just tired of hiding. Okay. That example when I was saying earlier of uh, them days where funds really did not allow me to go get me yeah, okay, I okay. two ten dollars pack of tracks and do me a quick wing real fast, honey, with some fake braids on the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when time did not allow that, I was just stuck mm. because there was nothing I can do to my and I haven't had a perm before locks. Okay. I was, ooh, the twins is 13, so I haven't had a perm in 13 years. Oh, wow. I was pregnant with That's the twins, and I put a perm in my hair, and I started my period, and I was like six, no, I was four months pregnant, but I had them at five. I was four months pregnant, and I put a perm in my hair one night, y'all, and I started bleeding. Our other sister, number four, took me to the hospital. I she took this. Yeah, we was in, we was in Antioch. Okay. Y'all know we're the side of that bridge. We was in that area, and after that day, my mind went to the fake rumors about perms, maybe you have miscarriage, or I think I Googled some shit like that oh, back then. Wow. But I never got a perm at the end because I started bleeding. And true enough, I actually had my kids like a month later. Oh, wow. I never had a perm again, so just imagine when I didn't have money for tracks and shit. <laughs> I, I no, no I'm like, I'm stuck on that for a second because... I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. So that natural even hit different uh -huh. when when I didn't I didn't have it. To 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 control, I do see the difference, y'all. When I was with my y'all seen it. I got all my connected videos together. I, got see it. I, I was I recorded the first part of me fucking up my own head. It didn't look like <laughs> no. I'm gonna attach it to the end. I'm not even gonna start off with that video. My plan was to merge them together but showing you my when I was doing it, but I'm just gonna add that to the end, y'all. It was fucked up. I put my hair in four pony, like five ponytails, put hella dye on the edges, put a plastic bag on top, and waited an hour. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I can, I, I can see you the see. difference, you guys. I don't know if y'all can this see the way so I'm easy. seeing. Look at that part looking there. crispy right yeah, now. Yeah, so it sure is. Hey, but y'all been riding with us. Yeah, what you finna say? But I feel like this would be another topic. So I'm only gonna touch on it very briefly. But remember my perm video of why Big Chop did my perm <sighs> traumatic experience <laughs> of why I went natural with Big Chop anyway. Mm. Did I tell you when I first moved to Sacramento? No. I know you I'm gonna save it. Okay. I'm gonna save it. But I'm gonna give y'all a tidbit. I went to somebody. <gasps> oh, I remember this name. He burnt, he oh, kind of put a perm in my hair. He ran out of the, the mixture. He went back to mix some more, but he didn't put, uh, I, I haven't had a perm so long, I don't know what it's called. He didn't put the, uh, he didn't mix it. Whatever the mixture is, I can't remember what it is. The stuff so that go in before the mixture though. Yes. Y'all know what it was. He only, he only, he went and got the, the, the perm solution, but he never mixed it. Yeah, the yeah, time yeah, around, so solution. immediately he put it on my head and I felt like somebody just poured gasoline on me. Ooh. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Ooh. That would be a good story time. All right. So. If y'all want to hear this story time about Miss Zola, <laughs> aka aka Miss Zola, <laughs> about that gasoline with that perm burn, leave us some comments, subscribe, yeah. like, you know, say something, talk back. Because mm. the more y'all talk to us, we're going to continue talking to you. Yes. Y'all already know that. That's how we're flowing. This right here is just y'all taking another ride with me. We riding, and it is a roller coaster. We mm. take different steps. Different trials. I was on here crying last month to their asses. Oh. <laughs> crying. But I was going through that phase of, I guess depression hit ups and down, yeah. ups and down, up and down, down. Yeah. I'm in the car before work and I'm just crying. Ooh. Crying. My mind thinking about grandma, I'm thinking about granddaddy. Okay. I'm on here just snob and I'm talking about how I relocated from Kentucky to come, Story. come here. Yeah. I'm giving them, I'm, I'm being me. Yeah. Raw and uncut. Right. And I'm just crying, crying, crying. They let me cry. I got one before response. 
and the genuinity of people leaving me comments and feedback about what I was going through or am going through in that moment. Yeah, so and I was, sisterhood. Exactly. Mm. And I was thinking like, I kept saying like, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. And I I'm kept that on my computer screen for so long. Did you? I was thinking of, yeah. it's okay to not be okay. And it, and it really is. Yeah. It is. And I got back like, I don't, don't take them tears as a moment where, hey, I want sympathy and I want people to feel sorry for me. Then be moan, moments, moans, moans. <laughs> There be moments where <laughs> like, oh, y'all not even talking like wait what? And I catch myself too like what the fuck? You? I talk too fast. I talk hella fast. Y'all know that now. I talk hella fast. But them just be the moments. Where I just need a vent. She high? Yes. I just need to vent. Here that's us. okay. And allowing yourself the mm -hmm. grace mm -hmm. to just not be okay yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And that's just the bottom line. I met a wonderful lady on here, you guys. Her name is Opal. Bright colors. We went and we met and we had a uh, wonderful lunch together. I didn't realize that we actually lived so close, but she had became a great part of my support team from afar, from a distance because we don't know each other and we got together based on her videos and my videos and us just commenting back and forth about our journeys mm -hmm. and life period. Okay. And I just want to say that I appreciate you, honey. And I see you. Congratulations, <laughs> boo. <laughs> okay. But yes, what we looking like. With that being said, so you're sitting, I feel like probably another yeah. 10, because I don't want to, because you just died in rest. I don't want to over process. Okay. I'm thinking like a good 10 minutes. I'm going to do a little spin for you. Y'all ain't seen it like this, oh, huh? honey, lift up That's just right. a little bit. Yes, honey. What it look like? It's, girl, listen. <laughs> That's look good. That's what it looking like. Yeah, it's about the Renaissance. Y'all already know, did not record for me like this. Well, so we had to do a subgrade. And slowly but surely, we're going to learn how to work this. Well, with that being said, <laughs> you saying that, keep talking. You can't <laughs> insert. What? I don't know what you just said. I'm going to keep talking. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> with that being said, we will come back after the rinse out process whether that be pictures or if you want to do a video it's your movement i'm just going with the flow for you however we do it so but it is time to go ahead and pause it and let this sit for a little while see you later loves <laughs> what's going on what's going on loves so follow one up instead of pictures i'm going to come on and do a, a quick follow-up this video is a little long <laughs> Y'all riding, we riding. Sometimes the vibes start going and them rides last a little longer. But this is the aftermath of wrenching out the hair dye. I will be talking to you guys more this week so you will be able to see how the color actually set in, especially when I'm able to do a little bit of sunlight with it. You know what I mean? But this is the finishing touch of the hair dye. I actually know I'm gonna be wearing my hair like this, but you see that. We can do a straight down sleek look cover them sides ladies i'm gonna do a full turn around okay cover them sides actually be able to walk out in outside of our doors it is growing though i feel that much of it from the very first video but i can warm my hand like this tomorrow i can go outside i can feel comfortable i can do what i need to do without feeling self-conscious of, I have a whole patch of hair missing on my sides. You feel me? <laughs> I'm going to be posting videos more this week so that you guys can actually see the color, or pictures maybe, I should say. So you can actually see the color once it sets. But you got a good idea what it's looking like. <laughs> so I'm not going to run my mouth too long. I, um... The video was recording with me and North was just in our own little zone, trying to put the camera in the right angle so that way we can record this hair dye process. I'm going to post that because it's little moments of, you know, connecting, laughing, genuinely. The vibes of this not being something that we're writing on a notepad. And there's nothing wrong with writing on a notepad. 
but something that we're genuinely just sitting here vibing and talking, which is what I always like to do with you guys. I like to just turn the camera on and let it flow. It is what it is. Raw, natural, uncut, blunt. We are who we are. I need to start hashtagging that for a matter of fact. Because we are who we are. This is me. This is I. This is she. She heard me. And Tamar voice. <laughs> this is who I am. You either love it, you take it, or you don't. But at the end of the day, this is what it is, baby. I hope that everybody who is dealing with thin edges, no edges, bald spots, alopecia, I hope that actually listening to Norsha words today helps in some kind of way. Because there are so many of you that I do cross paths with as far as messages go where you're seeing multiple consultants, you're going through your appointments, you're trying to find that person who who fits you to help you start this journey. I hope that you got a nice glimpse of <laughs> why I'm like, you know what, baby sister one for me. You know what I mean? And it works. I actually got a little video afterwards uh, while we were sitting up waiting for it to set in of her just being her. She don't even know I was recording. I'm going to post that right, right behind this. I'm going to title it, Why I Chose My Consultant. Yes, she's a trainee. Yes, when I jumped in my sister locks, I was impatient about waiting on her to take her loctician class. I want it now. I'm like, you know what? I can be the mannequin head that you practice on before the class. <laughs> I don't regret that still. I think my locks is good. I think she did a great job. I like her energy. I love her vibes. You know what I mean? And I think them are two of the main things that when people search for consultants and go into the appointments of somebody who's going to potentially start the journey with them, you're going to see if you vibe with that person. You're going to see if you can relate to this person. You're going to go for the energy <laughs> when it's all said and done, baby. I hope you enjoy these little add-ins I'm going to add behind it. And follow up with the very next video because she had a lot of recording. And she was just being her most authentic self. And what more can you really ask for? I shave my loves. We'll talk soon. I'm going to do a spin before I leave y'all. Okay? Hey. Do y'all see that? <laughs> I shave my loves. Good night.